everybody and welcome to Paper Crafting with Tammy. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. It is awesome to see you here. I have a great project for us today that we're going to start on in just a minute. If you haven't done it yet, take a minute and hit that big red subscribe button so you see what else I've got for you next time and let's get started. Hi Paper Crafting friends. Thanks for joining me today. In today's video I want to talk to you a little bit about how to go into a layout that you've already completed and add in some journaling. And I'm really talking about a layout that you look at after the fact, you're done, and then you think, oh my goodness, I did not take the time to journal. So I grabbed a layout out of my album that I completed recently, and this is just a random layout that I chose. Um, this is a trip that I took with my family uh, to the Oregon coast. We did some tide pooling while we were there and I never did tell the story. Okay, so this is a great example of one that I may want to go back and add some journaling. So just looking at this basic layout, when I have to start thinking about that, there are definitely some choices. This looks pretty full, but I promise I'm going to show you five ways that you could add journaling to this page and not mess up the, the layout at all. Okay, so way number one, I could add a flip flap. Now flip flaps are a really fun little product. These are sold by Close to My Heart and they come in lots of sizes. For this layout, I could use a four by six flip flap over any of these photos or I could use a three by four flip flap over any of these photos, okay? So in this case, I grabbed a three by four flip flap because I also have um, some little sentiment cards that were part of this kit. And when I dug through them, I found a couple that would work really well for some journaling. So I've got a choice of this Ahoy there or the Remember This Moment, okay? Flip flaps are a wonderful option for a late ad. And they also are a great place to add in another photo. So if I want the journaling to be visible, then it could be the thing that I put in the front of this pocket. Okay, and flip flaps get attached. Um, I typically will attach them to the page protector after I put this layout in a page protector. This is a little adhesive strip and I could attach it right here. Then somebody can just flip it up and they get the little surprise of the photo underneath, okay? Or if you're planning ahead, you might wanna do the photo there on the top, flip it and have the journaling underneath. You also have room to add another photo here or some other little memorabilia, okay? So that's way number one, add a flip flap, okay? Way number two is just to handwrite right on the page. I've got room right here. I could make some little notes here. I could handwrite some notes here on the page, right here on the page. Lots of options just to add some handwritten notes. And if you look through my albums, that's honestly how I journal most often is I will just include the little details. Um, I don't love my handwriting, but I don't hate it. So I feel like that's a good option. Okay, so that was way number two. Handwrite on the page, find an empty spot and go for it. Way number three is to type it up, format it to fit on an available space. Okay, so in this first example that I'm gonna show you, um, I, I typed up a long strip so I just went into a Word document. I made the layout of my document uh, landscape so that I could go long, and I created a piece that I could cut and put here. So I'll show you that. So here's that long strip. If you have a 12 inch printer, you could do an even better job of this, okay? But um, I do not, so I could just cut this long strip to add right here at the bottom with those details, maybe ink around the edge and add some journaling that way, okay? So that's way number three. Just type up a strip that you can add in some available space. Way number four is journaling strips. Now I've seen people do this many different ways. Um, some people will cut long strips of like white paper that they can put in different places. Um, I've seen people type up journaling strips. 
um, lots of different options for how to how to do that and spread it around your page so I did type up um, a little segment of text that I'm gonna cut into strips and I'll show you those all right, so here's an example of using journaling strips. So I just typed um, a message very similar to what I'd put on that other um, piece. And journaling strips are kind of fun because you can manipulate them however you want. So maybe you want to start the story up here. And just do a couple of the strips. And then finish it down here in the empty space. Okay, or maybe you want to put them all down here. So you could line them up if you want to. You really have a lot of options about how you want to use journaling strips, but they are pretty flexible and a fun way to, to add a detail um, to your page and get that journaling in kind of a creative way. Okay, so that's option number four is to do journaling strips to add the journaling to your page. I got one more option for you. So option number five is to make an embellishment for your page and journal on that. So when I look at this page, obviously it's kind of a beachy sea life theme. And so if I was gonna do some kind of an embellishment to journal on, I would most likely grab something along that line, okay? So I pulled out my Paradise Accessory Set and my Tiny Seaside Set and I got looking through these and really I think the choice that I would end up making would be this same shell that I used to cut this sentiment here. So I grabbed that shell and I could make something out of a coordinating color and I can put that on my page to journal on, okay? So that could easily go here. I would probably tilt it a little different direction than this one. I don't know, that's just me. Um, so I could make, cut that out and handwrite on it, or I could type um, something up and cut it out in this shape. So I was already on the computer typing for that other, those other options. So I went ahead and typed up a message I did have to print this out once just on some white paper and check my spacing and play with it a little bit, but I ended up with a message that would fit really well on this shell. And then all I've got to do is trace around it and cut this out. I've got a great little journaling block and I'm adding some more interest to my page. Okay, So I'm not gonna cut this out on camera but I just wanted to kind of show you how that would work and then how you could make that fit on your page, even though it was not part of your original plan. So hopefully these ideas um, get you thinking about how to add some journaling. I have at, had people ask me that, like, oh, where would you add journaling to that page? So I thought, what a fun topic for a video to just show you some ideas. So hopefully I got the wheels turning and you learned something new today. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you haven't already done it, um, hit that big red subscribe button so that you can see what I put out in the future. And I look forward to seeing you another time. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.